Today, I will review the last of the Still Awesome Bottle and Bond series. The first three were amazing blends, and I expect nothing less from this one. So today we're reviewing Still Austin Straight Rye Bottle and Bond. Let's get into this. Welcome back to Old Fashioned Ways Plus Plus. Well, a few weekends ago, it was an amazing weekend. I got to attend my first barrel pick with a group. No, it wasn't my barrel pick, but it was a lot of fun to attend to. I got to go to Still Austin Distillery for the first time. I picked up a few bangle bottles there and we'll talk about that in my bourbon haul. And when I was there, I did pick up the last bottle of the Bottle and Bond series that was blended by Nancy Fraley. However, I also managed to pick up Nancy's pick number 22. But more of this on my next haul video. So I'm gonna take a moment, pour some out and let this breathe. <laughs> Now, this is the spring series, the last of the Still Austin Straight Rye Bottle and Bond. The whiskeys of their seasonal Bottle and Bond series capture the ingredients, flavors, and themes of the seasons from which they were inspired. For the spring release represented by the Rabbit, they used the bright spice of 100% Texas grown rye to conjure the feelings of new beginnings, bold ideas, and fresh perspectives. This is the taste of spring in all its glory. Prepare for glory! If you're liking these videos, please click on that like button. Also hit that subscribe and notification bell. And of course, because I'm doing a review, I'll be giving away some samples too. So stay tuned to find out how you can win some samples. Let's get into the bottle. Still Austin Straight Rye Whiskey Bottled and Bond. Distiller Still Austin Mash Bill 100% Texas Rye. Age at least four years. Year release February 2024. Proof. 100 proof making it 50% ABV. MSRP on this, $79.99. All right, it's almost time to start reviewing this, but before we do, last night I actually did a uh, live with Nathan from Everyday Drinker. It was a great time. We did a live blind, so perfect timing just for this. Get my mouth palate warmed up for this one. So today I'm not doing this alone. I have my daughter HRH here. Hello, old fashioned way followers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't think she ever leaves. She's in a lot of videos now huh i never leave and i'm never leaving ever <laughs> the scary thing is i kind of believe her and this time we're doing a review on still austin straight rye whiskey so this is the last in their series of bottle and bonds okay so pretty cool pretty excited i already have this poured out for you so i'm gonna move this to this side here's one for you here's one for me and actually this is why we're using these glasses all my glasses were used in my live last night so these are the only two i have left as usual we'll be doing a review and we'll be scoring it from one to ten on aroma flavors, complexity, mouthfeel, finish, and of course, would I buy again? So, are you ready to get into this one? Yes. Oh, it's a bunny. What's a bunny? On the it's a sock bunny. On the label. Oh yeah, it's for Perfect spring. For Easter. For Easter and spring, right? <laughs> All right, we're gonna be using my new book. I already wrote in it to get everything set up for us, so. Let's start. Let's go for it. Let's uh, first look at this. Look at it at the light. Ooh, that's actually a, that's a pretty good, nice dark color, isn't that? That's, that's amber a, looking. Yeah, it's a dark amber, so it's not very light. Well, that's that's nice. That's Looks nice. Like a prescription bottle. <laughs> <laughs> prescription <laughs> bottle. Of course, you you associate everything with work now, right? All right. So aroma. Let's go on for that smell. Very sweet. I took it, a, I took a deep breath. You did. <laughs> your first time I heard you go. <laughs> clear out that <laughs> nose, you know. Did. You did. Oh, that does smell good though. I, there's a lot of sweetness, but there's also a lot of rye, right? You yes. smell that rye-ness. So there's that sweet with the Ooh. spicy kind of ness to it at the end. It so spicy, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of rye. It's not very musty. And I associate that usually when it's older, right? And this is about a four age, but I think it's closer to five years old instead of the four. But I mean, that's just, you know, how long it was there. So, but overall, I, I do like the aroma. It, uh, it doesn't overwhelm you even when you took that huge sniff. It doesn't <laughs> yeah. overwhelm. So that's good. What would you give uh, aroma from a zero to ten? I think a ten. I, my nose didn't want to stop smelling it <laughs> as I started to smell it. So we like to start off high when we start the reviews. <laughs> I'm gonna give the aroma six point five. Okay. I've never had my nose do that. I just kept smelling, smelling, smelling. I'm like, oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, so this is actually Nancy Fraley helped make these blends. So this is a Nancy oh, Fraley blend. Wow. So yeah. All right, cheers. Let's go for that first one. So we're going in for flavor, okay? That sweetness does start off. You get that sweetness initially. Hey, you can't do the second drink. It's one drink. 
<laughs> it's your initial drink. <laughs> this is what you're supposed to taste initially. You don't want to go for the second one yet because then you get those Let's extra see. flavors, right? Yeah. So there is a, a, a little bit of oakiness, a little bit of sweetness to this. Tiny bit of vanilla, but the spice gets you in front, kind of gets to the sweetness in the middle, and then kind of stops with that first drink, right? It's, it was kind of quick. It was kind of a quick rotation. That's why you want to yeah. go for the second drink. Yes. This is your first drink of the night as well, so we haven't had anything on our palate, so our palate is trying to acclimate. But really quick on that one. So what would you give that one? Well, Your I thought first it was one like when I hit my tongue, it seemed spicy. Mm -hmm. Like a red pepper flake kind of reminded me of a stag. Mm -hmm. So I was a little scared. I was in my soul. I don't. I didn't know if it was going to be taken. <laughs> I was a little worried it didn't take it. That's why I went for a second one. But I thought it was good. I'll give it a seven. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, this one, because of the spice, how quick it kind of went from my mouth to kind of went away. And I did take, a, I kind of took too small of a sip, I think. So that's kind of my fault. So I'm going to give it a 6.5. Let's go on for the second drink. Now, this okay. is the one that opens it up, which you kind of cheated. And <laughs> you'll get more of the flavors from this one. All right. Okay. Let's go on for that. Wow. I actually tasted sweet first this time. Yeah. So that's what we're looking for. The complexity. How does this change? Right. I still get a little bit of that spice, but you're right. The yeah. sweet hit pretty up front. I still have the spice on the tip of my tongue, though. Mm -hmm. So I do get that. Now, as you're going through this, you're, you're getting a little bit of more of that flavor in that background there. Right. I'm tasting a little bit of that aging, of chasing a little bit of that char, even though it's a four year. It's a Texas four year and Texas stuff tends to age a little bit faster. Now, with that spice, it, it does have a little bit of a ginger taste to it mm -hmm. as well. But it's also like the spices, like the spices you use for cooking as well yeah red um, pepper flake yeah That's and then getting. you that yeah like you you like that red pepper right now and yeah. i can see because <laughs> of that spice too that sweetness goes from a vanilla to like a little bit of a honey and i like that i like how it's just that sweet but not overly sweet in the middle mm -hmm. but it helps balance out that spice i feel like they kind of help balance each other out and like yes. you said you got that sweet kind of quickly on yes. so I did like that. I like the complexity on this. So for you, from a zero to 10, what would you give complexity? Give it eight. I like the change that it did. I give it <laughs> seven. Now we're going in for the next one, the mouthfeel. How thick is this? We didn't even look at that in the beginning. Normally we look oh, at yeah. that, right? But how thick is this? How viscous is on the tongue? How oily is this? You know, so let's go in for that. I don't think it's very thick. Even when I did this on the glass, Rolled yeah. it. It doesn't really stay. Yeah, it runs kind of quickly, but on the tongue, it does hit my tongue pretty well. Mid, the front and the mid palate. Mm -hmm. now, I get a little bit towards the back, and now I'm getting actually getting a Kentucky hug on that, or I should say a Texas hug because it's a Texas <laughs> whiskey. <laughs> um, so I'm getting a little bit of that. I did notice that the chain. I did taste a little bit like when you're chewing gum and you get that like oh. like the the minty almost winter green oh, flavor yeah and i feel like if i go oh, i can tell you how you got with that gummy you yes. feel that mint flavor yes i get a little hint of that at the back but it's not overpowering i do like it so that's another uh flavor i got with that drink in there so i like the way like right now it's still on the tip of my tongue it's still mm -hmm. on the mid of palate not so much in the back but i still feel it so for complexity i i do like that what would you like to give that i would give it a seven Okay. And I'm giving that a 6.5. Definitely a dragon in the back of my throat. Sitting yeah. There. And I would like it to be a, a little, little bit more viscous, like you were talking about. I like mm -hmm. it to stay a little bit longer. I like to be a little bit more oily and fill it over the tongue. And that's mm -hmm. why I'm giving that, that kind of that 6.5. Now, finish. Let's, let's go in for another drink and see how it finishes. The more I drink it, I think the easier it is to drink. No, and definitely. I mean, as mm -hmm. your tongue acclimates, you start getting more flavors, you start liking it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But on that last one, I noticed a little bit on the last one, but on this one, I noticed it, it dries out your tongue kind of quickly. Yeah. It's a little bit of tannic in there. And the tannic, you know, is what I feel like, you know, when I'm drinking wine, I'm not crazy about high tannic stuff because mm -hmm. it dries your mouth, but I can kind of feel how it dries kind of in there. Yeah. But it does stay in the tip in the mid, and then the, the back is where I feel that dryness, that tannic -y part of it. So it's a good finish. I mean, it stays there. I still taste it. I've tasted it all the way through. I mm -hmm. haven't felt like it ever stopped. And it's, it feels there, but it's funny that winter, that winter green flavor, like, is. <laughs> I feel like I go oh, and just feel that. Who are we working with? Peppermint or wintergreen? A whole different thing. All right, finish. What would you give the finish? I would give it an eight. Okay. It tastes toffee in it. Yeah, and I'm right right behind you on that uh, 7.5. Yeah, so I can see your toffee flavor too. When you say that, it, it's kind of in that mid where the vanilla kind of is. It's kind of right mm -hmm. between the spice and that. So I, I do see that. So I like that. I like that you pulled that out. Now, would we buy again? You know? And. <laughs> You always say yes. I always do say yes. Before we even get pricing. But this one, this one's not too bad. It's 80 doll hairs. 80 doll hairs. Nice. Mm -hmm. okay. So, or 80 rabbit hairs. Or I 80 mean, hairs. wait, I didn't recommend one. It was Doritos. 
Yeah. So the, I, I, well, the Doritos has <laughs> just, just got a go. We didn't, that was a quick one. So that, that one yes. doesn't count. <laughs> but for eighty dollars, you know that's MSRP on this, and you know you can pretty much find it right now because it just came out. What would what would you rate that? I would give it a seven. Okay. And you're right with me on that one. I think for eighty dollars hairs. It's a uh, very good pour. Mm -hmm. it's ver it has complexity. It goes through changes as, you're t as you keep tasting it. As mm -hmm. you said, it gets easier to drink as you're doing it. Mm -hmm. And a rye, you know, a lot of people, if ryes are a little bit spicier, ryes are a little bit harder to drink for mm -hmm. like a bourbon drinker like me. Now your mom on the other hand, she likes rye better. So she would have probably liked this one more than some of the bourbons, but I do like it. So I also mm -hmm. gave it a seven. Yes, I wish it was a little thicker on the on the tongue. I like to taste yeah. it fully. I think it dissipated very fast. Yeah, it dissipated a little bit faster than I like, but I do like it. So so now <laughs> my genius daughter here did the, did the addition. So if it's wrong, it's her fault. If it's right, <laughs> it's mine. All right. Uh, so I got 41 out of 60 and she got 47 out of 60. And I think that's a perfect, that's exactly where it needs to be. Mm -hmm. It's a four year, it's a bottom bonds here. It's a hundred proof, lots of flavor for a hundred proof, covers the tongue. You get a lot of complexity. It just goes through a lot of things and it's $80, you know, could it be a little bit less? It's special series so of course it can be a little bit more you know would this be better as a 65 70 dollar bottle of course but it is what it is right and i do like it i will get a backup for this for sure because once they're gone they're gone it's it's a limited series so mm -hmm. I really do like that. Once it's gone, it's gone. Because we're doing, uh, you know, we're doing a review, we always do a giveaway, right? So let's talk about how you could win. So first of all, we need to make sure we hit that like button. What do we do? Just click on that, right? Hit that like button, it does help. Also, if you can, please share the video. Sharing the video does help. YouTube loves that. So just share it, share it with your friend, share it with your mom, share it with your girlfriend, share it with your boyfriend. I don't care, just share it with somebody, <laughs> right? Just yes. share it, you know, go out there, share it. Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring. <laughs> And in the comments below, I want you to tell me about your favorite bottle and bond whiskey. So any bottle and bond whiskey that you've had, let us know about it. I, I want to see if there's something out there that I should be hunting, something I haven't tried. So let us know. Last thing I want you to do is hashtag spring cleaning. Yeah, it's perfect. It's a spring bottle. It represents a spring. So spring cleans perfect for this. Yeah. So like, you know, it's a bunny on the bottle. It was perfect representation because it made my heart skip a beat. It like hippity hop hop when it scared me. <laughs> it tasted like a stack. So yes. So should it be a bunny with horns? So, you know, what are they, those called? What? Jackalopes? Oh, know? yeah. <laughs> I was like, so a we can... devil? <laughs> a devil rabbit, exactly. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on another journey down the whiskey rabbit hole. <laughs> <laughs> it is always fun. Always fun to have my daughter here, who is probably never leaving. <laughs> so, tell our next journey, my friends. Cheers. Cheers.